welcome to Innate Express Podcast. I'm Haig John, chiropractor in Melbourne, Florida. Our mission is to ground you in service and inspire you to serve at your very best. Let's get started. The, uh, the, um, the journey of love is no fun alone. And it's not necessarily having, having to have you know, romantic partners or what have you. If someone is, you know, wants to be by themselves, that's a blessing. They love themselves enough to be on their own. Um, so it's not that. It's love being shared with others. And, uh, you know, the, the light is bright. And we've heard, I don't know if you've ever heard about the, you know, if, a, if you light one candle to light a room, it lights the room. But if you use that candle to light the other candles in the room, you know, it brights out, it illuminates, you know, much brighter. And uh, so sharing our love, sharing love to the world, when we become selfish, we become, you know, self, I don't like to use the word self-centered because that's one of the groups I'm I'm part of. And uh, because that self-center really, once we get to that self, we're shining brighter so we can serve others at, a high, at our highest level. But when we are focusing only on the self and uh, we're only doing things for our own gain, and gain is okay, right? But if we're using it in the sacrifice of others, Plato said, never use another man for a means to your own end, right? So if I'm just using you for my own means, I wanna take, I'm a taker, um, some people call that just a, a, there's a funny term, a sponge. I'm just soaking up everything and I'm not giving anything back. So, you know, that is a place that isn't healthy for anyone. You end up really is by yourself. And you can see that sometimes in other people. And those are the people in my life I try to avoid. I've come in contact with lots of them. Um, What's really funny, and with uh, sometimes with marketing people, and I get one a day at least of how terrible my website is, or how awful my marketing is, how everything could be better, because they're focusing on their own thing, right? Instead of saying something that is more, hey, let's, you know, you're doing a good job. Um, wouldn't it be better if we work together and do something to enhance? what you have already. Um, same thing with chiropractic. I know, I, I've known quite a number of people. I've helped them transition from just being a taker, doing personal injury, those type of things, not really caring if you get really well. They want to build up a big case. Um, all the lawyers are pushing to do one thing, so you have a bigger case, so they get a bigger check. It's usually 33% or whatever it is. And then they try and hit you up for 40% at the end, say they did so much work. When in reality, the person is going from place to place to place, MRIs, exams, neurologists, and all those things. It's like a second job. That's why we don't deal with much with personal injury. I have personal injury attorneys that ask me, can I send people to you? And I say, no, I, don't, I really don't want your people. You know, where other chiropractors are begging at their door, bringing them lunch for once a week, massaging their toes, you know, all that type of stuff, because those bottom feeders, I call them, really just want to take. They don't really care about being well. That's why so many people come in here. I've been through this auto accident. I, you know, I still have all the problems. I'm actually even worse than I was before. And they, I have nothing left with my insurance, my auto insurance. Can you help me? Yes, I can help you. And we have one girl right now. She was seeing me, then went to where the attorney said to go, and then came back and said, I am, I am so worse off than I was before, and can you help me now? And I said, yes, I can. So really, what do we want to be in life? Do we want to be just the bottom feeder and getting the scraps of nothing in the darkest black at the bottom of the ocean? or Just insurance, just insurance right? <laughs> Which is insurance. Which is insurance, exactly. Excuse me. You know, uh, when we did insurance in the past, we had a whole team that just handled insurance. It was very expensive. Now, and I, we don't do much insurance at all. Um, rarely, for some friends, I do, you know, I'll process an auto accident and that type of thing, but 
very rarely do we much insurance. It's just, it's just too much burden to bear in a way. But when we're serving, let's get back to serving, serving at our highest. The lasting purpose from Dr. Sid Williams and Dynamic Essentials DE, where I'm a speaker sometimes, um, the lasting purpose is to give, to love, to serve, and to do out of your own abundance. To give, to love, to serve, to do out of your own abundance with no expectation of return. That's a big deal, right? Of course, we've got children to feed. We've got ourselves to feed. We've got insurance to pay. We've got all sorts of things to do in life. And when we are giving up that, when we have the abundance, and I'm not talking about sacrifice. That's a different thing. Um, Ma Jaya, she's the guru down at the Kashi Ashram. She has passed now. But one of her teachings was you must drink as you pour. You must drink as you're poor. Because a lot of that ashram is about serving, about serving. If you're continually serving and not receiving, then your pitcher will run empty eventually. And there will be plenty more to still take, right? So we have to nourish ourselves. We have to drink as we pour. So um, in that service, receiving is also important and being in balance with the universe. To give, to love, to serve, to do out of our own abundance without expectation of return. That is, I just got to chill all over. I'm working towards every day. I give up those things so I can serve better. I can be more congruent, more grounded me. I can be more authentic. I can be more transparent. I can be myself. When I can be myself 100%, and we talked about this before, if you're translating adjustments into things, okay, I've got to buy this, that's 10 adjustments or something, that's a horrible way of living, right? Because then, and that's with everything, I'm talking about lawns to mow, you know, signs to make or whatever it is, if we're just living in that world, we're out of balance, right? Because then we're thinking of that expectation of return to separate ourselves, to do, to do, to do, there will be balance in things. Sometimes we give it away because, you know what, somebody might not have the abundance to be able to pay. And we have a few like that, and I don't mind. And then we have some people that have said, you know what, here's a, a, a full plan and, you know, for whomever wants to use it. And each year we do, we've done uh, on Christmas, um, GPS God, no, GS God, GS Seed, God Serving Chiropractic. And uh, Sigafoos talked about that. And I think even some other old timers used to talk about that in chiropractic. And uh, we've had people pay here. I'm just going to pay for a plan and whoever needs to use it. And I think that's absolutely wonderful. Out of their own abundance, with love, it has served them so well. So when we, ha- we take our way out of that expectation of return, I'm not saying just give up everything, right? And just tell everybody, look, I don't expect anything in return constantly. It's that expectation within our hearts. It's giving with all the love. Um, Ama, who is the hugging guru, she was just in New York, and my friends um, went to see her. And she gives hugs and love. And they got there at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. They didn't get to see her till 3 a.m., And there was still a sea of people still to see her. There were thousands upon thousands of people there. And she just gave and served and served. And I'm sure there was a place for a donation. No one talked about that, right? They didn't say, well, I left $1,000 or I left 20 bucks or I left whatever it is. It was, wow, this was one of the most profound experiences. That hug that lasted seconds changed my life or it enhanced me. I felt pure love at that moment. Today, I walk and serve on this earth from pure love. I'm going to put my feet flat on the ground when I say that. I walk through this earth with pure love. And let's just do a little bit of visualization, okay? I walk through this earth with pure love in my heart, pure service in my heart, pure doing in my heart. From above down, inside out, I am love. 
The words out of my voice are love. The words coming through my throat, through my mouth, through my lips, everything is charged with a vibration of love, caring, service. I am love. I have love in my hands. I am love all around me. As I walk through the earth, I have the fragrance of love. You are all love, everyone around me. I step on the ground. That ground is anointed with love. I walk through the air. I breathe it through my lungs. I blow it out through my nose. That air is anointed with love. Love, love, love. I see love. Even in anger, I see people that have a lack of love, that need love. I have those moments in myself. I take a moment. I breathe in love. I let go of the anger. I let go of the fear. I let go of the lack. I let go of those things that aren't serving me so I can allow more love, more love within me, more love around me, more love in the people around me, more love in the people around my town, more love in the people around my county, more love in the people around my state, all the states around me, in the water, in the oceans, in the Caribbean, all the islands of Hawaii, all the islands of Japan, all the islands in Southeast Asia, Asia, India, all the world around me, Europe, everywhere, 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 North, South America, the entire planet, planet, I am filling with love. I am exuding that every moment of my being right now, right now, right now, from above down, inside out. Each person is connected with love. I am love. I serve with love and joy and abundance of love and joy. I am happy to serve. I am whole to serve. I am love and I am also loved. I feel the love coming back to me. I am not alone. I am whole. I am complete. If there are any bits of darkness in my mind when I see that, when I see that love coming to me, let's pulverize it with more light. All that light is love. Love from above down, inside out, coming through me. Everywhere in my body and my being. Through my feet, out to the world. Every breath I take, every molecule in the air is love. Love, 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 love. And I am grateful. I am grateful for that love. I am grateful. I am grateful for God. I am grateful for all that have come before me that have taught me these lessons. I am grateful for all that are in this room that are listening to this recording. All the people that have never heard of it. Everyone is filled with love and I share it with them. And I am grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ah. Let's do three ohms. We'll do them together. to the room. Ah, I went on a little journey with that one. I could feel it. And I visualize the world. I visualize that. I feel really grounded. Good. 